What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm sharing with you my November Criterion wish list. These are the five criterions I will be looking out for when I go Blu-ray hunting in probably the next week or so. I'm going to make a separate Criterion Blu-ray hunting video different from my normal Tuesday Blu-ray hunts, just to let you guys know. Now, as far as the start of the Criterion sale, really quickly, it's not happening right now. I guess the Criterion sale officially starts on Monday, November 6th, and that may be the day that I go for my Criterion trip. I'm not really sure yet. We'll see. But these are the five movies that I will be looking out for. I'm targeting. I want to add these movies into the ever-growing Criterion collection. So let's start off with The Others 4K. I was super excited when this Criterion was announced just a couple of months ago. This is a spooky movie starring Nicole Kidman. I know I am not the only one that got excited about this announcement because I know there's a lot of other physical media collectors, a part of the YouTube community, that went out and bought this on day one. Even though the Criterion sale was right around the corner, they just could not wait for this. They wanted it for Halloween, and I completely understand that. I would rather have half off. No offense to anyone out there that rushed out, but I would like it at half price. So I waited. I waited, but this is my number one pickup choice. I have seen this movie one time, but it was a long time ago, a really, really long time ago. So I would love to add this into my collection. And I think it's going to look phenomenal on 4K. And I don't think Mama Blu-ray has seen this movie. She loves Nicole Kidman. We both do. So I really think my mom is going to enjoy this film a lot. And I would really love to revisit it as a mature adult. Because the last time I saw it, I think I was like a teenager or something. Or like young 20s. And, you know, you're different. 20 years older, you know. So I want to experience it now. So I'm really looking forward to picking up this criterion. Okay, criterion number two. I got my list right next to me. Criterion number two that I would like to add into my collection is La Bamba. Now, La Bamba, unfortunately, for some reason, is not available on 4K. I'm not really sure why, so it's only a Blu-ray criterion, but I will take it. I love this biopic. This is the true story of Richie Valens. Richie Valens is played by Lou Diamond Phillips, and he is amazing in this film. I remember watching this movie all the time when I was younger. This was probably a big contributor as to why I really enjoy biopics, because I am not kidding you. I used to watch this movie all the time. And when this was announced... I got really excited. I was like, what? Criterion is doing La Bamba? It was crazy. Like, I got so excited for it. So I definitely want to add in La Bamba into my collection. Choice number three is not out yet. I think technically it's coming out November 21st. So I have to make another trip. for That's my excuse, right? To make another Criterion Blu-ray hunting trip to pick up this movie. But it is Mean Streets. Mean Streets 4K. Directed by Martin Scorsese, one of my favorites, if not my favorite, and starring Robert De Niro. It's always Robert De Niro. They've made like eight, nine movies together. I've never seen this. I've never seen this film. And when it comes to Scorsese and also with De Niro, I want to pick up everything. I want everything that they've done together, everything with Scorsese, his whole filmography. I would love to have because like I said... He is one of my favorite directors, if not my favorite director of all time. I just think he's brilliant. He Say what you want about him. I know he said a lot of bad things about superhero, superhero films and Marvel and things like that. But at the end of the day, he's a filmmaker. He, he knows what he's doing. And I would just like to absorb everything. I want to know everything that he's done. So I'm really looking forward to picking up Mean Streets on 4K. Okay, so criterion number four that I'm looking forward to picking up. It's not easy to remember everything. I have to look over at my notes. Is The Fisher King on 4K. The reason why I want to pick up The Fisher King is because it seems like 
every other Criterion Blu-ray hunting trip I've done in the past, I've always picked up this movie and I've never bought it. I've always put it down. I've always chosen something else. I'm interested in the movie. It's not like it's a bad, I don't know if it's a bad movie. I don't think it's a bad movie. I've never seen The Fisher King, but I always decide to pick up something else and not The Fisher King. I always say, next time, next sale, I'll get it tomorrow. Like I never, I never make The Fisher King a priority. That is the reason why I am now making The Fisher King a priority. It's going on my pickup list. I am definitely getting it. It is now The Fisher King's time. It needs its time to shine. And I'm curious about this movie. So I definitely do want to pick it up. And the, finally, the fifth, bleh, finally, the fifth movie I would like to add into the collection is The Irishman. Now, I know, yes, I just talked about a Martin Scorsese film, but you know what? I'm putting two on my list. I do have a Blu-ray copy of The Irishman, but it's not legal. You know, like it's, it's, it's a bootleg. It's a bootleg copy. And to be honest, this is where cover artwork really comes into play because I like the entire display of this criterion, the packaging, the artwork on it. It is a movie I saw when it was on Netflix. I'm not sure if it's still on Netflix or not, but this is a movie I only watched one time. It is long. I will say that. Very long movie, but I would like to go back to it. I would like to circle back to it at one point. Winter time is coming. I could have a major snowstorm in two weeks or something. And you know what? I need something to watch. I'll pop in the Irishman. You never know. It could happen. So I would like to have another Scorsese from Criterion. You know what I'm saying. Another Criterion from Scorsese. There we go. In the collection. So those are my top five Criterion selections that I would love to add into my collection. Those are the movies that I am seeking out. So comment down below and let me know if you are shopping for the Criterion sale, what are you targeting? Don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave and I'll see you next time. <music>